Yo, my people, you're locked into my brand new YouTube episode. Um, today, we're actually going to discuss everything that you've asked to discuss via our Instagram stories. Now, I'm going to talk to you guys about relationships and how to introduce your partner to your family and the do's and don'ts because I feel like a lot of people don't know how to be and how to act in front of the other half's parents. And now that can be a complete deal breaker. So I brought a good friend of mine involved to be involved um, because she's got some experiences herself that she would love to share with us. Um, and it gives a different insight to uh, the situation, albeit a female's insight. So, no further ado, we welcome Montana! Yay! Yeah. Yo. Okay. Ow, the fucking rings! <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Oh my god, so happy to be here, guys. We um we did episode one. Mm -hmm. um, it was a bright success. It was brilliant. It was amazing um, on your YouTube. So we've flicked over to mine um, to give you guys what you want. You're at it. Look, you've actually bruised me. I told you to take them off. So tell me, what are we doing today? Today, it's all about when you bring for yourself a boyfriend home, what do you expect him to be like in front of your mum? Uh, polite. And now this is the thing, because a lot of people leave their manners at the door. Or would you like them to be any different to what they are? Because in my experiences, yeah, like, I've done this myself, right? I've walked through the door, I've shit myself because I'm so nervous. And I've just become someone who I'm not to try and please mm. the mum. And, and then, like, my girlfriend or whoever it be, would be over there going... The what are you doing? Who the fuck's yeah. this guy? <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I, think, was like, I think as long as you say your pleases and thank yous, you know, you offer to take the bin out, you know, you're being nice, asking loads of questions, then you can't really go wrong. The worst, I mean, we'll go through it later, but mm. there are some key points that you just cannot and should never do. I mean, have you had any experiences where it's been a bit red flaggish? Like... They're not like red flaggish. The only thing is, is that sometimes I feel that, especially now, like being older, mm. a lot of guys forget like not to swear. Mm. Like a lot mm. of boys can be very sweary around the parents. And I personally hate that. I just think never swear in front of someone's parents. Rule 101. Well, Don't do it. Not, not the first, not the first time meet. Maybe no, down no the, not ever. No, but maybe down the line, like with the dad, like with the dad might be joking around. Mm, I would prefer no swearing. I prefer well, a no not. swearing household. Yes, my mum would. Be yeah, like, no, I wouldn't want. I wouldn't want. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't. Would you swear in front of my mum? No, no, I wouldn't. Jack's literally only come round today to see my mother. What are you talking about? <laughs> your mum loves me, though. She loves me. I, I, I think your mum's great. I told you. I told you at the first step. I think she's great. I think she's a lovely mum. So I haven't actually seen any of these questions, by the way. So I'm a bit. Yeah, I mean, right. yeah. Some of these questions are a little bit. Well, some of these questions actually aren't anything to do with that topic. So I wanted to vibe actually straight into, you know, bringing your, your boyfriend home when your girlfriend home. Um, have you had any like really, really bad experiences? <clears throat> so this is always a tricky one. So not when I first brought someone home, mm -hmm. but I went out with this guy once when I was at school and he cheated on me and I told my mum. And so then I actually got back together with him. And then when he came around the house after that, my mum was literally like, uh -uh. I hate you. So, what's your opinion on like telling your mum? Yeah, part. telling your parents stuff about like your other half. I think mums especially, they are very unforgiving. Mm. Like you would say something, and you know, uh, you know, this is when I was younger. Like I don't know, like young young. I was like, oh, you know, like you stole my Pokemon card, and then my mum would be like. Oh, you stole okay. your Pokemon. Oh, like whatever, like when I was young at school, whatever. <laughs> and then I didn't even play Pokemon, don't like <laughs> But like that boy would come round my house again, and my mum would just be like a bit different oh. towards him. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But that still carries on, like that kind of ethos, still ethos, you know. Ooh. Ethos. <laughs> I don't know, I swallow a dictionary or something. No, ethos. it's because it's hanging around me. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But that kind of situation carries on throughout life. So, like you said, if a boyfriend like cheat on you, then it's a bit peak. Mm. Um, but yeah, like. I am a little bit reserved with what I say to my mum, even to this day, because I know she's like, not judgmental, because she's not. Mm. She accepts everyone for who they are. But she, she will have, obviously, my, myself as a priority. So if she feels like that person's not great for me or she's like, done something bad behind my back or whatever, she will be a bit like, oh, so 
you're not going to see that person again, are you? you know, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 no questions that they're actually statements like, oh, so that was nice, but you're not going to see them again, are you? Mm. Do you know what I mean? And you're like, oh shit. Which is why I always, I'm a firm believer, like, I just think your problems, you know, put it on the WhatsApp group, tell your friends, but I just think family involved, like, just never get the family involved, I personally think. Are you an only child? Well, not technically, no. Would you speak to your brother or sister about things? <clears throat> no, no, I wouldn't speak to my brothers about. So this is the thing. I've got, I've They're got both a brother. Than me. Oh, okay. So I've got. Was this your fit brother? <laughs> he is fit. He is. He's a good-looking guy. He's from you know my my mum and dad's you know fifty-fifty. So he's, you know. He hates it. <laughs> I don't hate it, but he's my bro. Isn't he? He's good looking. No, Mike, Michael, Michael Fowler, if you want to look him up, Instagram, YouTube, whatever. He's private. Don't bother. How do you know that? Because last time, do you not remember, I was trying to look on his profile and he's private. I don't think he's private anymore, though. Hmm. We'll have a look. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm quite lucky because i got Michael. So me and Michael just chat about things that we don't have to talk to our parents about. But um, I feel like, do you know what bugs me about boys? I don't feel like boys give sound advice to their friends. No, we don't. Like, ever. No, we don't. Like, say for example, right, you're on a lad's holiday and one of your friends has a girlfriend. Okay. One of your friends has a girlfriend, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, like, they're kind of being a bit, ooh, like, shimmy, shimmy, like, over to another girl. You wouldn't say anything. But I do. Would you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, you're an anomaly. But, like, most boys would not say I anything. I have done. They'd be like... Yeah, you know, it's, it's up to them, you yeah, know. Yeah, but you're it's going on... Mistake. Hang on a second. Mistakes. Hang on a second. Oh, you know, lad, just do what makes you... You're happy. going on like girls are are perfect. Like, I have they been... Are. No, 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 no. I have been on holiday, right? And I've seen a girl who I know has a boyfriend go to another table, yeah, mm. where there's bottles popping, there's other boys there, there's girls... <laughs> Look at your face, because you know the deal. <clears throat> She's gone over to that table... Yeah, next thing I know, she's all up in the man's arms dancing. I know full well she's got a man at home. Full well. Okay, well, that's just one girl. Yeah, but then don't try and say it Yeah, all but she's like probably an anomaly. So you're saying, okay, hang on a second. So you're mm. telling me, one time around, right? You're Excuse t- me. Sorry. That's very impressive. You're telling me, yeah, that you've never, you've never been out and one of your girls have tried it and you've been like this. I can't see anything. No. I'm so like hot on stuff like that. Genuinely. I've been on holiday with a few friends yeah. and one of them was like getting very close to another guy and I literally grabbed her. I was like, what are you doing? Like, don't do that. I was like, you've waited this long to have a perfect, amazing boyfriend and you've got one and now don't ruin it. Mm. But boys in general, I just, I wouldn't go to a guy for like sound advice. I just think they're, the, they, they literally give the worst advice. Like, But in saying that, I've given you good advice in the past. Don't pull that face, I have, I definitely have. Alright, come on, what, what advice did I not give you that was not good? Wait, what advice did I give you that wasn't good? No, I feel like, I feel like you are overall quite good with advice. Mm. However, a boy's mentality is always like, in fact, this is a, a classic you saying, just go for the... <laughs> <laughs> go for the... <laughs> yeah, literally, that's like... No, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what, I know what you mean, but I'm just saying... What does that, that mean? It's not, it's not, does that mean like have sex? Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Exactly. Yeah. That's that's literally the consistency of your advice. That's your solution to everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you've asked me for some advice recently. Which one? Oh, you're not bringing this up. Which one? What? <laughs> <laughs> Which one? <laughs> I'm trying to think. I'm scrambling in my head. I'm Which like, oh one? god. Which one? Which situation I love is this? It. I love it. Let's talk about... Oh, God. I'm not going to name... Okay, listen, look, I'm not going to name names. Right. Don't sing a song either. Okay, I'm not going to name names. We have established that there was a little bit of a, a interaction via DMs. Right. Right. You asked me for some advice, and you said to me, you're a little bit... You're not too bothered about the clout, or you're not too bothered about what is around him. You're looking at him as a person that you were... And you weren't too... Yeah, I wasn't too sure, because he's not exactly my cup of tea. As well, you can imagine. You have to commend yourself for that because there are a lot, like m- probably a good million, million, million girls that would see that name and that blue tick pop up in the DMs and just wet themselves. I'm proud of you. Thanks. I'm proud of you for having the ability to talk to 
What do you mean the ability? Well, not not folding in. Mm. To have a conversation with you and not be like, oh my God, this is my address, come scoop me. Scoop me? Like, pick me up in the car. Oh my God. Oh. Me up, me okay, so I've got a few scenarios, mm -hmm. okay? Um, the people wanted to, to ask us and, and, and we're going to do it again. Uh, so in 2020, obviously, it's, it's been very difficult for everyone. So what's your opinion? Someone here says, I've got a, I've got a boyfriend and I've got a boy best friend. Right, so imagine you've got a boyfriend and you've got a boy best friend as well. Mm. Well, for me, you've got a girlfriend and you've got a girl best friend. How do you work around that? So say, for example, you're the girlfriend, yeah? And your boyfriend's got a really good girlfriend. How do you work around that? What, what, do, you, <clears throat> what do you think? Because there's a lot of people who have the same scenario. I think you can really tell. Um, so for example, in my past relationship, my ex was really good friends with a girl from school. Well, two girls, like one... Her name was Juliet, and she was always made such an effort with me. Like whenever like we were all together or in group situations, she'd always like make a real effort to get to know me and like make me feel comfortable. And like even when we weren't like together in a room, like she'd message me or she'd reply to my stories or she'd be like, "Hey, how are you?" Like she'd start a conversation. So if if your boyfriend's friend is like that, then it's obviously perfect because mm -hmm. they're making you feel comfortable. They're not making you feel on edge. They're really sweet. Juliet, if you're looking at this, you're really sweet. You're really sweet, Juliet. Well done. But obviously, I've also had situations where he was friends with this girl. I don't know if I'm just saying her name or not. I won't say her name. What does it sound like? Schmeller. <laughs> he, <laughs> he was like, he was like, yeah, you know, we're just friends. and blah, blah, blah. But like, I was like, all right, well, where do you know her from? And he was like, oh, um, I knew her because I met her out in a club. I was like, all right, well, then you're not friends then, are you? Really? Because like, for me, that's just like... You don't just go up to a girl and go, hey, can we be friends? Like, no. Like, you're, they were obviously, like, there was probably an initial attraction. So for me, there's no need for them to, like, be chatting. Mm. It was only, like, a year a year before we got together. I was like, that's not a friend. Mm. I hear it. Yeah. So my advice would be always, you can always tell. And this is what frustrates me with boys. Like, oh, you know, she's just my friend. And, you know, my friend from ages. She didn't fancy me. <laughs> Wake up and smell the coffee. Jesus Christ. Do you know where I'm coming from though? I hear you. To be fair, I've got a few girlfriends and Joanne's like, how long have you known them for? Joanne's my missus by the way. How long have you known them for? And all these questions. And at the start, I was like, allow it. Do you know what I mean? I was just like, what the hell? Because I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't, didn't get it. I didn't get it. Like, I did not get it. I was like, you're so, like, why are you asking all these questions? It's jarring, like, blah, 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 blah. And then after, when, when you kind of actually deep it and you actually kind of understand where she's coming from, and if the shoe was on the other foot, yeah, hundred percent. You would, I would probably, You'd I would hate it. I would be asking the same things, like, you know what I mean, and and I'm, I'm from a boy's perspective. If my girl has got a guy friend, and it's like there's no real other connection other than texting each other. Also, like they don't right? need to be friends. Do you know what I mean? Like someone that they met in a club, do they don't? Need yeah, but to you. Be friends? I, but this is the thing as well, right? You don't need to be friends, but I want it to be my friend. At the same time, mm. like you're right, I don't need a friend, but I'd like to be. I don't, I don't need a girlfriend. I, I want a girlfriend. I don't. You know what I'm saying, like, I get, I hear what you're saying, and like, I really get it. But I think both angles are justifiable. Do you feel threatened by Schmeller? No, I didn't at the time because like we were very, very different. But and you know they probably were friends. Mm. They probably were just friends because I don't think he liked her in that way but i ha always had an inkling that she liked him in yeah, that but that's not his problem this is another thing you can't i if, mean it is th this is another thing right because yeah but guys like that they like to, i feel like guys like to have girl mates that's like slightly fancy them because then it's like mm, she fancies me mm. and then they're like yeah yeah you know, you know we're just friends it's like she fancies you yeah but that's not his fault yeah but then like why do not we friends someone that fancies you that's a good that's a good point you smart. <laughs> you smart. All right, moving on, moving on, because there's a few here. Okay. Um, can a long distance relationship work? My boyfriend wants to work in Qatar for wow. a year next year, and I'm worried. What do you think of long distance? Because I'm personally not down for it. Have you done it before? Yeah. Define define what you've done because I've I've spoken to a girl from a LA. long distance. Away. LA. LA no. girl. No, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> You know. <laughs> that sounds like a funny that thing. Was, that was horrendous. We, we can actually discuss that. 
Well, should we just talk about that? Yeah, we should talk okay. about that. <laughs> <laughs> that was honestly so funny. Can I tell the story? Tell the story well, as much as you know, then I'll butt in. But this is a real story. This genuinely this is, happened. This actually happened to Jack, and it was honestly the funniest thing <laughs> I've ever heard. Basically, Jack, this is when he was single. So Jack starts talking to this girl. She's like an Instagram model. She's like, woo, looks amazing online. And wow, she's so sexy and cool. Anyway, they've been chatting for a bit. Did you, was it off Raya or was it just off Instagram? No, it just Insta. It just Insta. Yeah. Anyway, he thinks he's fucking getting some. She's coming over from LA. And then he goes, picks her up. Mm-hmm. Basically, Gatwick. One, Gatwick. And one, I don't think she looked exactly as you would have liked. No, let me say something. Just <laughs> Let me just say something right here, right now. Right. I am not a coward as much as like, you know, you don't look like what you look like on Instagram, so I want to keep to the cut. That's not, no, I'm not what you that's are. not mm-hmm. my bad, right? Mm-hmm. And I appreciate that everyone, including me, looks better on the ground than in real life. I think... I think I'm going to look better in person, personally, but... Okay. Everyone in the world but Montana <laughs> thinks they look better in person, right? So, I appreciate that. Wasn't It wasn't so much like a deal breaker. As, like That it, wasn't even the main issue of the trip. But I just want to say, I'm not the type of guy to... He's not a horrible person. Anyway, uh-huh. picks her up. Mm-hmm. She doesn't even bring any money. No wallet, nothing. nothing. She's Over. gone to stay with Jack. Didn't you get a hotel for the first couple of days? Okay, so I had a personal appearance. My PA's come over a hotel. I was going to say, look, you might as well come to the hotel. I don't really like bringing random people into my home. It's not It's not what I do. So that was the plan. But Anyway, she went to go stay in the hotel with Jack. Obviously, Jack's assumed in his head that this girl, you know, she's got friends, you know, she might have a couple of people to go stay in London. Like, she probably got other stuff to do. She probably got a life. She didn't. So, he's, she stayed with him for like, was it a week? Five days? Seven days. Seven days? Seven nights. She went to go stay at his parents' house. No money, no nothing. She had no plans. So she just relied on Jack the whole and, time. And, and this is where it gets interesting now, yeah? Because we didn't just do normal shit, right? We went Novikov. We went Hangout. We went, where do we go? Lives, right? We went to top places in London, right? Yeah, it's expensive shit. Do you know what it is? It, it wasn't even so much that, because I'm hosting you, you're here to see myself, like, I will, I will dish out, right? However, I wish you did that for your friends. However, however, right? Not once did she say thank you. Thank you. Not once. She didn't offer to pay for anything. No, 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 no. Forget the payment. She didn't even say, you know what, Jack? I'm going to make you tea. I'm going to make you lunch. I'm going to make you some breakfast. Nada. Nothing. Yeah, that's so bad. Nothing. Mm, that's and, so bad. And, and it got to the point where I was like, am I your dad? Am I your dad? <laughs> I don't understand, like, no return ticket. No return she ticket. Didn't have a return ticket. No return flight. So I said to her, "How long? How long? How long? How long are you gonna be here? How long are you gonna be here for? You looking for a green card? <laughs> you trying to get married? Mm-mm. She did not want to leave. Do you know how? Do you know how? Do you know how it ended? I tell you how it ended. I tell you how it ended. I had to go to. I had to go into. Um, yeah, to, didn't you pretend that you had to go no, away no, no. on holiday? I genuinely had to go um, Mallorca for um, for for a job. And I said to her, look, I'm going to come back um, in about a week's time. By which time, she would have left the country, right? Basically, get out of my house. But I dropped her off, you know, I dropped her off to her friend's house. I made sure that she was there safely. I, I come back from, from Europe like three days later, but I clocked that she was still in the country. Oh, God. So I didn't put it on my ground that oh I was God. back. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't put it on my ground that I was back. I was putting loads of throwback videos and pictures that I was still in Spain. But do you know what it is? I, That's let, bizarre. Let's just get back to it. Like it's it's not. It is a bit of everything. I mean, like coming here with no money, no credit card, no bank card, like no return flight. You can't be doing that. No, no, thank you, no please, like nothing. Manners cost nothing. Like nothing, and I was just like, you know what? That's that's such a that's such a red flag. But do you know what? That is a lesson to you. No, it definitely is. No, definitely. It was it was the longest week of my life, but it was the most eventful week of my life, and it was so funny. I look back on it now. How many so lessons jokes. did you learn? How many lessons did you learn in that oh, like, week? At least two a day. Mm. At least two mm. a day. Like, do you know what? If... I'm getting wound up now. I'm actually getting wound up. Now. Anyway. Anyway, so, that's a funny story. That was. What just... was the actual question? Long, Long distance. distance. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, being single, this is a good one because a lot of you will definitely be able to relate to this. Being single and trying to date in 2020 because 2020, hmm. Yeah, it's been a lot. It's been an L, not a lot. It's been an L. It's a loss. 
Tell me, tell me. I know how to, I know how to Well, listen, we're, we're about to go into lockdown. We're about to go into lockdown number two. I know. What do I think about being single 2020? Is it dating in 2020 or being single in 2020? Dating. I think it's, it's perfect because actually, <laughs> I think dating in lockdown is a good thing because you're actually spending more time like FaceTiming or like calling or like investing kind of more time in that person rather than like going about your daily life, texting every now and then and it becomes like monotonous whereas like... Monotonous? What the hell was that? So I think lockdown dating is actually quite nice because you get to speak to people, people invest more time in speaking to you because they've got like nothing better to do. So I think it's good. Also, you can go on like a, can you go on a socially distance walk? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm a counter, counter. I've had, honestly, the best time dating in lockdown. I really have. Okay, well, I think... I don't think it's been an issue. But you're, you're single, so you, 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 you might not have any problems with that. I'm, I'm not dating, so I don't really know, but... I can go off what I've been told and my family and my friends who are dating. And they're like, it's long. Because, you know, you want to go out for something to eat, you want to take the girl out, right? And you've got to be home by 10. Yeah, great. An early night, 10 hours sleep, no bags in the morning. Wonderful. Stunning. Yeah, but on top of that, you've got to work throughout the week. So you finish about six. You've yeah. got to get ready. Go, go get there. Have a good date. Mm -hmm. you got, what, an hour? Tops? Hour and a half? Uh, and we're back to going to lockdown number two. The only thing is that you can't meet up with um, my lovely candidates. Candy dates. Candy dates. Candidates? Mm. How many candidates are there, Montana? Don't ask me those questions. One or one? There's a few. Candidates. Uh, there's a few eligible bachelors. But I don't. Listen, I don't think you're doing anything wrong there. Genuinely, I'm not even saying it. As, the as difference as is, I'm not sleeping with all of them. I'm only sleeping with one. Mm -hmm. So. And does that one know yes. that you're dating others? Yes. And that and that's the important thing. I think during lockdown as well, like there's going to be a lot of people that are going to kind of be in the same situation as you are. Mm. I just I just don't like the idea of like sleeping with multiple people at the same time. Personally. I just, I don't see the point. I'd rather just have sex with like one person and it'd be good, you know? And just keep them there. Mm. On speed dial. Yeah. Rapid. Yes. Rapid response. Yes. That's good. Is that better? Is that as bad as it goes? Oh, the ambience. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know what's mad, right? Boys have such so a what bad... What are you going to say? No, no, no. Forget about your mum. Boys have such a bad kind of ego stuff to them about, oh, you know, you sleep with everyone. I know, they're not sleeping with boys, they're sleeping with girls, the fuck? What do you mean? What are you saying? Like, girls are also equally as bad as boys when it comes to... Oh, 100%. Not me personally, but like... I don't know, I, I, I just think, do what makes you happy. If you're single, you can behave however you want to behave, you know? There's no rules on who you sh how many people you should sleep with. Just as long as you're being respectful, as long as you're being open and honest, as long as you're protecting yourself and... You know, using protection, that is the key thing. You've got to use protection if you're going to sleep around. Mm. Wicked. Well, I think like we've covered a lot. We've covered a lot, a lot. That was great stuff. Well done, Mon. Thank you. Do you do a handshake one more time? Right, take your ring off. Oh, my God. Okay. Mm. No, I'm joking. Oh, God. Wait, slow down. Oh, sorry, I forgot it. I forgot okay, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, I've been Jack. You've been... Me? Yeah. Uh, make sure you like, you subscribe. Um, and episode three will be on Montana's. Yeah, issue. yeah, it um, will be. But guys, comment below. Uh, let us know what you want to see um, next so mm -hmm. we can dive into that and get nitty and gritty with it. Um, thank you for joining me. Pleasure. On my YouTube page. Pleasure. I think it's the second time you've been on it now. Mm. I'm literally like the only person on your page. I know. I need to up my uh, guest list a little bit, I think. <laughs> but thank you very much, guys. See you soon.